what should wrestlers be doing in the summer? Now, this is the question I probably get asked the most. And you know, we got about a month and a half left. So of course there's still gains we can make here in the summer. Now I'll be going over my five most crucial things that you guys can do, starting right into tip number one. Clean your freaking gear. Guys, a lot of your guys' shoes, knee pads, they smell terrible. Honestly, it could bring a grown man on his knees and absolutely bawling his eyes out to how bad it smells. Like if your guys' knee pads are sitting at the bottom of the bag or even the, your wrestling shoes, I mean, they could still be sweaty. You guys need to take those outside, air them out. Heck, even see if you can wash your shoes somehow, whether it be in the washing machine. Be kind of careful of that, guys. Don't ruin your wrestling shoes. But find a way to disinfect it. Uh, and this goes with your headgear as well. So after every single wrestling practice, personally, I uh, get a disinfectant wipe and I wipe down my headgear because I don't want to get ringworm, epitigo, anything else that I could pick up from the wrestling mat. But if you guys haven't done that, take a disinfectant wipe, wipe down your headgear, guys. Staying clean is the absolute necessity. But along with cleaning your guys' gear, no one likes to wrestle someone who smells so bad. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. You get matched up with that dude who just does not smell good. Thankfully though, that leads us into today's video sponsor, Dr. Squatch. Now they sent us this package and honestly, I opened it up for the first time and literally just smelling it. Like some of the stuff in here, like pine tar, there's cold moss, cedar citrus. They got some awesome shampoo, conditioner, as well as their birchwood breeze deodorant. That's my favorite smelling deodorant of all time. I love that you can actually like smell the soap. It's extremely energizing. And also the added grit on this literally helps so much with the lathering experience. And also I, I feel so much better after I use it. And if you guys want to smell like a champion, you can use this code on the screen. It's also linked in the description to get 20% off your order, $20 or more for new customers only. Number two, guys, it's the summer, but that does not mean you can sit here and relax all day long. You gotta go to practice and you gotta keep lifting. Now, maybe you're someone who doesn't really wrestle in the summer, but what you can do is you can grab a buddy, go in like the front yard and just start hand fighting. Just get moving, maybe run some laps, do something that can help your wrestling. And also wrestlers should always be lifting um, all year round and especially in the summer, guys. This is when you guys can get sore. This is when you can put a lot of physical strain on your muscles. Unlike in the actual season, you wanna stay in the best shape as you can without being sore all the time. But now in the summer, you can be sore. Um, this is the best time to get tons of muscle growth, guys being strong than your opponents is a must. And to be frank, it's it's a choice. And now number three, this is on the opposite side of the spectrum. Guys, relax, take a break. A lot of you guys are just coming out of Fargo and other big freestyle and Greco summer wrestling tournaments. Now, if you ha guys have been grinding for the past couple months, this is your time to really take a break. Maybe take a week, take two weeks off if you need to. Give your body a break, give your mind a break because wrestling, it's so emotionally exhausting and physically exhausting. And once it comes around to school year time, when you're wrestling, you know, five times a week, then you got tournaments and dual meets. It's really hard to have a really good needed relaxation period. So by finding the happy medium of practicing and lifting in the summer and also resting and relaxing, that's where you're gonna find your best gains. So tip number four, you guys need to get some money. Now, if you're gonna be wrestling, of course, the whole winter term, it's gonna be hard to, you know, do a job, keep your grades up, go to practice. So by grinding these next couple months, uh, whether at work, being hired by someone or doing your own thing, have some way to keep money coming in because, you know, money, isn't everything, but it is very important because it kind of impacts everything. Whether it be going to neighbor's yards, knocking on the door, asking them to mow their lawn, power wash, wash their car, sell water bottles, whatever it may be, making sure that you guys are getting money, getting paid, because once you guys go off to college, college costs. And lastly, but probably most importantly, what wrestlers should be doing in their summer, do stuff that you actually really like to do. Whether it be traveling, tubing, jet skiing, going to the beach, water parks, things that you guys can't do in the winter, do it here in the summer. Time moves so fast in the summer, especially without school. And there's been times at winter when I'm just thinking, you know, what I would give so I can actually smell like fresh summer air and go to water parks, do it fun things. Because you know, wrestling, it's hard work. I mean, it's the hardest sport. It's the hardest thing you can do. So by letting yourself live a little bit, that'll keep your sanity going. And just a reminder, guys, that it is very, very important. But making sure that you guys have a life other than actually wrestling is going to be that balance that uh, is necessary in your life. Now that is going to end it off. If you guys did like the video, please like the video. That really helps me out and subscribe. We're going to pass Flow Wrestling in subscribers soon. I can feel it definitely by the end of this year. Shout out to my patrons who support me there on the Patreon. If you guys want to check that out, link is in the description along with the new merch. I appreciate you guys going crazy on that. And with that being said, we'll see you in the next video.